got to admit, I felt funny that day. But I had a good reason. Zoe was dead. Zoe, the mystic, the man with the secrets of the universe, was dead. I got word by mail. His wife sent out these letters with envelopes inside marked secret. Very mysterious. Just like Zoe himself. Zoe's instructions were pretty weird, but explicit. He said don't open the secret envelope unless you're at sea. And out of curiosity and respect for Zoe, I did exactly that. So there we were, far at sea, and it was time to open the secret envelope. The whole thing was ridiculous. But I have to say, I was a little nervous. Zoe had always been a mystic reader of Spinoza and physics and the Kabbalah and such things. But what I found in that envelope was far stranger than anything I could ever imagine. Wait a minute. I know what you're thinking, and you're wrong. I'm real. I'm not an illusion. I must be cracking up. No, you're way beyond that. I must be in shock. No. You're in denial. You know, that sounds just like something I'd say. Look, I don't have a lot of time. I told you, this is not an illusion. This is Spinoza and physics and the Zohar all wrapped into one. This is me talking to me. I know this may sound strange, but I don't have a lot of time. I'm here to tell you the secret. Do you want to hear it? Yeah, I want to hear it. I'm not sure you do. Why not? Because you're a skeptic? So you're not going to tell me the secret, right? No, I'm going to tell you. Then why don't you just cut to the chase and tell me? Well, I don't know if you're ready to hear it. I'm ready. Well, I don't know if you're ready to hear this. I think you're stalling. I don't think there is a secret. Wrong. There is a secret. You know Zoe? Yeah. He's dead. No. He's not. That's a secret? No, that's not it. The secret is, you are. <laughs> That's the best you can come up with? I'm dead? So he's not? I'm dead? Think about it. You're dead. Who are you? I'm your pilot.